hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i make this delicious fish bread this bread is really delicious as you can see very soft so if you are interested to see how i make this bread continue watching and let's get started To start, I'm going to be activating my yeast. I'll be using 280 ml of milk, 4 tablespoons of sugar, 1 teaspoon of yeast. I'm going to stir everything together, then I'll cover it and keep it in a warm place. You need to keep your yeast in a warm place, that will help your yeast to activate fast i'll put mine inside my oven and i'll leave it for about 15 minutes and i'll on the oven light not the oven just the light to keep the oven warm here is our yeast as you can see at the top of the yeast there are some bubbles that shows that our yeast is well activated i'm just going to pour it in my bowl for the ingredient and the measurement, I'm going to leave everything in the description box so you can check it out if you want to make this recipe. I'll be adding one egg, melted butter, I'm going to be adding 60 grams now, then I'll add the 40 grams later because I'm using 100 grams of butter. I'll add salt, then I'll mix everything together. I'll be using four cups of bread flour. You can use plain flour, it doesn't mean you can still achieve the same result. I'm just going to sieve my flour. I'm just going to start mixing the dough. Don't worry, at the beginning, your dough will be a little bit sticky. That is part of the recipe. I'll be adding the remaining butter. I'm just going to knead the dough with the butter together. I'm going to be transferring my dough into my working surface. I'll sprinkle some flour. This is part of the four cups of flour that I'm adding to my working surface and you don't need to add excess flour into your dough because that will not help you to achieve nice bread you just have to be very accurate when it comes to baking and making your bread or cake you need to be very accurate about that so i'm just going to knead the dough with the heel of my hand kneading the dough will help you to achieve this gluten and you need to knead it at least for 10 to 15 minutes until you notice that your your dough is very soft and stretchy as you can see here now I've greased my bowl with some butter. I'm just going to place the dough in there. I'll rub the dough with some butter and I'll cover it. I'll keep it in a warm place.
Here is the micro fish that I'm going to use and I'll be spicing it with some salt. I'm going to be using some sunflower oil to fry my fish. My fish is ready. I'm just going to take them out of the oil. Then I'll take off all the bones out of the fish. So guys, please make sure you take all the bones out of the fish. If you know you want to give this bread to your kids. And I'm just going to use my food processor to blend the fish. Here is my dough. My dough has been resting for the past 15 minutes. As you can see, the dough is nice and beautiful. I'm just going to punch it and take off all the air inside the dough. Now I'm going to be shaping my dough into my desired shape and also I'll be cutting this dough into 12 pieces. I'm going to be folding my dough in and roll it into a little ball shape. I'm going to be greasing my pan with some butter. Then I will sprinkle some flour all around the pan. That will help the bread not to stick to your pan when it's done. Here is the fish that I'm going to use. I'm going to be flattening the dough with my hands. You can use a rolling stick, but I prefer using my hands. So I'm going to mold the fish with my hands. Then I'll put it in the middle of the dough Then I will seal it up. I'll just make sure everything is well sealed. I will roll it on top of my working surface. Then it's done very easy to do just as you can see i'll place it in my pan i'm going to repeat the process again for you to see So guys, here are the finished dough. I'm just going to cover it to rest for 30 minutes. So here are the doughs guys. So beautiful. I'm just going to rub some egg wash around the dough. Then I'll put it in my oven for about 180 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. All depends on your oven. Just keep an eye on it. So guys, this is the end result of our fish bread. I'm just going to rub some butter on top. Isn't it beautiful, guys? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh my God. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just going to open it for you and see how it looks like inside. So if you have watched this video to this minute, 
thank you so much i really appreciate please don't forget to hit that subscribe button set the notification bell to all so that you never miss any of my upcoming video that i'll be uploading in my channel thank you so much and i'm going to see you in my next video with another delicious recipe bye bye ciao